what's up guys welcome back to the channel my name is Travis and welcome back to another video so as the title states we're gonna be talking about the co2 scrubber attachments for the skimmers more specifically we're gonna be talking about the eShops s300 since I got two of these lids in and I went ahead and made the very first attachment for the original lid and it doesn't fit the second one so obviously there's some differences now that kind of prompted this video because uh, over the last year and a half of creating these and having over 75 different models on the website i've ran into this a couple times now not to this extent um all the issues i had before were just kind of like you needed to shave it just a little bit to get it to fit uh, with this one it's going to need a little bit more a little bit more work so uh, with that said um, if you're new to the channel, again, as I mentioned, about a year and a half ago, I started creating these CO2 scrubber attachment rings. The very first one was on a NIOS Quantum 300. And basically what it does is it bridges the gap between the lid, all right, and the skimmer cup. Now, a lot of us use CO2 scrubbers in this hobby, and a lot of us have come to figure out that if you recirculate the same air over and over again in the skimmer, um, not only does it uh, uh, keep your pH a little bit more elevated, but it also cuts down on how much CO2 media that you're using. Now, uh, the CO2 media is not cheap. Uh, one of the reasons why I stopped using it was because of that price. Now, what this ring does is it allows, again, to recirculate that same air over and over again. I will put a video in uh, showing you specifically how to, uh, I already made one, it's in the description of all these, but it shows you how to attach it. I might do one more in depth, because I do get a few questions on that video, so I'll probably do that. But either way, um, what it does is it allows you to attach a CO2 scrubber, and then goes that other end goes to the input of your skimmer, which then, again, all that air stays circulated in there. Now, one thing that I've also done is I've also included uh, some plugs, because a lot of our skimmers, cups, lids have holes in it for that air to escape, and those plugs go ahead and uh, you know, plug it up so the air can't get out. So with that said... Uh, these have been very popular. Again, I have upwards of 75 different models on the website, and I probably sell a few hundred of them every month. It's it's actually really good, um, and I appreciate the support on that, by the way. I really do. Now, uh, the issue that I've had, and I mentioned this previously, is that there's only, over all those models, it's happened probably a handful of times, is that the uh, model changes, or there isn't consistency in the model when it comes to making the lid. So this is a prime example. So this isn't... Uh, the eShops S300, okay, it's a, it seems a little bit newer than this one. Again, this is the same lid. I, it just worked out that I had two of the same lids come in, um, and uh, I would have never figured this out until I sold one, and they'd be like, oh, it doesn't fit, and I have to figure out what the problem is. So, uh, with that said, as you guys saw, it originally fit this one. Now, when it comes to the other one, which is supposed to be the same model, there's no chance. I mean, there's not even a remote chance that that's going to fit. I don't know if you can see it, but it, it literally hangs over. Um, it's significantly different. Now, this is the first time I've actually ran into that problem. In the past, it's always been, hey, it's been milled a little bit different. You just need to shave a little bit off with the Dremel on the, on the attachment and it fits perfectly fine. That's been to the extent of what has gone wrong or, or hasn't fit when it comes to these. Other than that, they've all been pretty consistent. So, uh, with that said, when it comes to this model, I'm most likely uh, going to have to make a second one for this. And I'll probably just make, when if you order the S300, I'll just send you both versions. Um, and one of them's going to fit. Uh, I'm assuming that uh, they updated the model and they're not making them the same way. Uh, you know, just consistency-wise changes. It, it's, it happens. I mean, it happened a little bit with the RSK. Is it RSK? The Red Sea RSK 300 had a little bit of an issue with that. I think the 600 did too. But either way. It's been pretty consistent. I haven't had any issues uh, other than, again, minor things up until this point. So, um, yeah, with that said, uh, the CO2 scrubber attachments are very popular. Um, if you are using a CO2 scrubber and you're finding that you're burning through media consistently and it's just, it just, you know, it's only a couple days or even a week before you have to change it out, consider trying one of these. And if you don't have your model on the website, and again, we offer like 70 something, if you don't have it, you can order the custom one and send your lid in. Nine out of 10 times, I only need the lid. Uh, there are been some instances like the uh, Max Spec Duo or whatever it was, a 600 or whatever. I, it has this weird shape to it. I needed the lid and the cup to make that fit. But unless, if you just have a round uh, cup, it should be fine, right? So um, with that said, uh, you should definitely consider using a uh, attachment if you are using a CO2 scrubber. I've heard instances and there's been reviews on people going from changing it once a week to once a month or even going longer. Again, this can be dependent on how much media you're using and you know how big your skimmer is and your reactor, all that kind of stuff. There's different factors. But either way, people are seeing pretty good results. And I probably, like I said, I probably sell a few hundred of these a month. Um, they're, they're pretty popular. So with that said... I wanted to put that video out there, so if you do order the, the eShops S300, um, 
you're going to probably get two rings in the mail. And um, just just keep in mind that uh, that uh, there are flaws in some printing. Uh, not everything is perfect. Um, if you do have an issue with any of the rings and any anybody that has had an issue, uh, if you contact me on the website, I'm more than happy to um, figure out what the issue is. Sometimes I have people send their lid in so I can make one custom for that. Um, it just, you know, things happen and nothing's perfect, but uh, nine out of 10 times, there's never an issue. But when there is, we try to, you know, take care of it as soon as possible. So with that said, guys, I'm getting out of here. Uh, lots of work to do today. All right, peace.